So how come it seems like no one wants to work for you or your company? Hi, my name is David Stefan Patterson and I'm the SAP Recruiter. And today, I wanna to share with you a simple mindset shift in how you think about your opportunity. That if you do it right, can open the floodgates for the very best SAP rock stars basically beating down your door, competing to work for you. Now, if you've been in a hiring position in the last few years, you know, as well as I do, how hard it's been to hire SAP talent. And I'm not talking any talent. I'm talking about the type of talent that you absolutely need to succeed and excel in your role. We're talking cream of the crop, A player, rock star talent. Because as an SAP leader, your leadership team evaluates you on your ability to attract and retain talent. And we all know you're only as good as the team you have underneath you. But the problem is, you've got competition. You've got fierce competition. And these competitors may not be going after your customers per se, but make no mistake, they're actively trying to recruit your best people right now. And don't think they aren't. And they're trying to do it with better pay, better benefits, maybe they have some SAP toys that you don't have. Maybe they have a better career track. Maybe it's a more exciting company. Maybe, I don't know, they have a casual Friday and you don't, but you get the idea. It's unrealistic to think that just because you may not have any holes in your team right now, that you won't in the near future. In fact, it's a high likelihood, especially when these companies, if they decide to not work with your average body shop recruiter, who, let's face it, they just scrape the job boards, but, when they hire a real headhunter like me to contact your best people directly and recruit them away from you, inherently there's nothing wrong with simply presenting a compelling opportunity. But when your key employee has a harmless chat with your competitor just down the road and that leads to a blindsided resignation, you have to be ready for that. So it's imperative that you plan for two things. Right? One, how to supercharge your own talent acquisition strategy. And two, once you land that talent, how do you keep it? Now, I can share with you all the tactics in the world on talent acquisition and retention. It's kind of my area of expertise. But none of these things mean anything without the right mindset. Right? It's not the tactics that win the war, it's the strategy. And if you want to have any chance of winning in this volatile war for some of the most fickle talent in the world, then this simple mindset shift is critical. So here's the mindset shift that you need to have. You see, most hiring managers live in what I call an echo chamber. They know what their company offers, their benefits, career track, all those things. So when they have an opening, they think it's a simple matter of, well, creating the opening, letting people know what you have to offer, posting the job, having three or four contingency recruiting agencies call candidates, interview, eventually fill the position, right? Well, searches aren't that simple. It's like childbirth, it's messy, because it involves people. So think about it from the other side. As a recruiter, one of my jobs is to make sure that my candidates realize that they don't apply for a job in a vacuum. Meaning, when they interview for a job, there are other candidates who are also interviewing that may have just as much experience as they have, in fact, probably more. And I mean, I constantly turn down candidates who, on a base level, seem to have the basic requirements for the job, but they don't have that extra rock star quality my clients are looking for. So we all know there's more to to it than just having the basic qualifications. So I ask my candidates every single time, I ask them, if my client asks you why they should hire you, what are you gonna say? 98% of the time, I get stock answers about how they have 15 years of experience and this or that, or they've got this certain piece of technology, or they've got this, or they've got industry experience and X, Y, Z, and my reply is great. So does everybody else. So again, I ask you, why should they hire you over the other guys? And unfortunately, it stumps most candidates, but it's one of my number one tools in my toolbox for determining if I'm gonna be dealing with a rock star A player or a C or B player that doesn't really add value to my client. You see, rock stars know their worth. 
So let me ask you, why should a top candidate go to work for you? I mean, you probably have a decent benefit plan, decent salaries, you got a fair amount of projects pipelined, but so do all the other dozen or so SAP shops within walking distance of your office. So let's start off with the actual opening yourself. Take a look at your job description. Does it read like a list of requirements? Five to eight years of experience in ABC, a demonstrated experience in XYZ. Right? Ask yourself, is it compelling? What's in it for the candidate? What are the challenges? What are the new areas of authority that the candidate will experience? What are the, what's the career track? You see, successful hiring managers realize they need to sell first and screen second. Guys, this is Recruiting 101, and this is exactly the reason why when you post a job online, 90% of the resumes you receive are body shop, consultant, cookie cutter, 20-page alphabet soup resumes. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Look, a rock star SAB talent doesn't have to look for a job, okay? But they will look at a compelling rock star opportunity. So, is your opportunity compelling? Are you a rock star that can attract other rock stars? Would you be excited to go to work for you instead of the other SAP shop around the corner? If you're not sure, then you absolutely need to work on making your opportunity more compelling to those rock stars that you need to take your own career to the next level. All right? So with that said, if you're a CIO, VP director, and if you want to pick my brain, right? I'm a seasoned SAP recruiter with close to 15 years in the business. I've placed hundreds of rock stars, many of them at your level or beyond. So I know what a rock star opportunity looks like. So if you want to pick my brain, click the link down below. Let's book a call. Look, no fluff, no hard sales pitch. You don't even have to engage me on a search, okay? But I will give you proven, actionable strategies that you can start implementing today in your recruiting tool bag. So if you like this video, please share it, hit that like button, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more content just like this, all right? Thanks so much.